Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning and Life Hacks. Removing stickers for jar, a pain in the butt, but not anymore. You're gonna chip your nails, you're like, what's going on? You're getting all the scrubbers and appliances out. By the way, my husband got this candle for me for Mother's Day and it's absolutely amazing. The first hack that I'm gonna show you, look at how strong this is. This is why I'm showing you this. But the first hack that I'm gonna show you involves all things that you probably have laying around your house. It works well. The second one I'm gonna show you, I think works even better. Like this sticker is seriously like stuck on there and then you got the residue from all the glue so here's how we're going to take care of it get yourself something to mix stuff in then you're going to get yourself some oil it doesn't really matter what kind of oil you could use baby oil you could use cooking oil you could use extra virgin olive oil doesn't matter then you're going to get yourself some good old baking soda i usually have a big bag of this laying around because it's Oh, so good. By the way, if you're looking for 24 room by room uses, I can link that video in the description box below. Then you're just gonna eyeball it here. You're gonna take some of your baking soda. This creates a nice grit, makes it a little bit more pasty, and you're gonna stir that around in there. You want it a little bit thick because you want it to sit on the side of the place where you need to remove your sticker. So I'm gonna add just a bit more baking soda here. I'm gonna keep adding as needed. This first one here will require just a bit more elbow grease and that is just fine, especially if you wanna go the all natural route. So I'm gonna take a spot, let's just go right here and we're gonna take our nice little soupy mixture you can see in there and we're gonna dress, we're gonna dress our candle. Yes, we are, the sticker spot right here. We're gonna get all saturated on there yes there we go okay and then you're gonna let it sit the longer you let us let it sit the easier that it will come off like i mentioned this one requires a bit more elbow grease but not a ton more so we got that sitting there let's let it sit for 10 minutes all right we've been sitting i'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on just because i just don't want to dig this stuff out of my fingernails. And you can use a sponge that has a little bit of grit on it. You could use an SOS pad, by the way, which is awesome. Uh, I could show you that in a different video. And I'm just gonna use this little scrubber right here. You could use an old credit card if you wanted to as well. And this is gonna help lift this sticker. You can see right here, come up much easier. The combination of the oil, which is great for removing adhesives. You could use some WD-40 if you wanted to go that route, but it does not smell very well. Now I probably should have let this sit on a little bit longer, but you can see that it is coming off a bit easier. Yes, yes, yes. All right, you ready to see my favorite thing when it comes to removing stickers because it works the best. It's not all natural. But it is dun, 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 some goo god. This video is not sponsored. I've never done any sponsored content on this channel right here. You're gonna rub it around. This stuff works like magic. I'm gonna let this sit for like five minutes. You have to let it sit for less time than any other product that I have used, which is awesome. And it smells nice and fruity and lemony. Let's just get crazy and see how impressive this is. I let it sit probably realistically for like two to three minutes, but let me just show you right here. This is probably the stickiest sticker I have ever had to take off a jar. And then you can just put a little bit more on there, rub it around, get it in all the fibers. So not only is this removing the sticker, but it's also removing that adhesive that is underneath the sticker. You can see right in here. If I can get this sticker off, you're gonna be able to get almost any sort of adhesive or sticker off with this goo gone. For this, I would recommend soaking it longer depending upon the severity of the sticker and the jar. I do love this. I do think it helps. The sponge is great, but this, my friend, yes. This is an amazing jar. I wanted to keep this black amber jar. <sighs> Let me know in the comments box below, have you tried the WD-40? Also give the baking soda and the oil a shot. It works great too. It just depends upon what you have laying around your house and how quickly you wanna work and how much sticker residue you have on the item that you need to get off. Give this video a thumbs up and then click the video on screen now for some additional cleaning and life hacks. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.